there are there are a number of students in this room who are excited about potentially starting starting their own company. Um, what what would be your advice? Let's go one thing to do and one thing not to do uh, when you're going out to start your very first company. Okay. Um, one thing to do, this uh, might uh, sound a little bit strange. Uh, I would say absolutely go and first, before you start your own company, go and first work for another company. Uh, why is it important? If you go and work at a reasonably good company, you see how the people are managing that company. Worst case is you say, I hate what these people are doing. When I have my own company, I won't make those mistakes. Best case is you say, hey, these people seem to know what they are doing. I shouldn't reinvent the wheel and I should learn some of the good things they are doing and follow that. You know, at HP, it was a great company. I learned a lot about uh, uh, some of the Hewlett Packard's principles of uh, management and uh, the things that made sense that were good. I borrowed that and I put it in my style of uh, uh, management and leadership. And um, uh, so I really believe it's a good idea to go and first work uh, for some other company, uh, not 10 years, 20 years, but a couple years at least or so, because it gives you a point of reference. And the second thing is, if you get a degree and work for a couple years in um, working for a company, you establish your base credential that you were smart to finish college and you were good enough that you got a good job in a nice company. So then from that point on, when you leave to start a company, uh, if you fail or uh, whatever, it doesn't matter because you can always go and you have a proven track record that you can go back and work on that. So you really minimize the downfall. Uh, so that uh, is the thing I would always recommend, which is not uh, something that everybody recommends and you see in Silicon Valley, it has uh, become vogue that oh, don't get your bachelor's, uh, be it college dropout. Steve Jobs did it, Mark Zuckerberg did it, Larry Ellison did it, Bill Gates did it. Why shouldn't you do that? Well, it's fine, but for every Bill Gates you show me, every Steve Jobs you show me, I will show you a million college dropouts who never <laughs> amounted to anything. Uh, it is uh, just, and uh, they actually had to go and do uh, jobs that were not taking care of their knowledge and the things because uh, they were, uh, their company failed and they were not able to uh, get to uh, some reasonable level of life commensurate with all the years that they had uh, put into uh, uh, preparing themselves and doing that. Thank you.